A fun afternoon for a couple quickly turned into a risky water rescue on Mission Creek. They had been uh, in two separate floating devices and when they came up to the island, one of them got cut off on the strainer at the stop of the island and got uh, stuck in it and the other one had to bail out to help them off the, the strainer and then they ended up on the island. They were apparently in two floaties, I'm not sure because they've uh, since gone down the creek. They did have life jackets on, which is a, a really great thing. It was right behind me where that debris is where the couple ran into trouble. We assembled our swift water team and uh, we used our inflatable uh, boat to get them. We put one of our team members across the creek, brought the boat across, put the two people in the boat and then ferried them back across to this side of the, the creek. It's very strong even though we're at low flood right now compared to what we were a couple of weeks ago in the creek. It's still a very strong current. We have a lot of hazards in this creek. Um, one being the strainers that can build up from place to place, and one could be uh, some of the bridges, uh, older bridges in town are still lower to the water, and people can get caught up in those, and it's extremely dangerous. We, while we were setting up to the rescue, two other groups of people went by, and they were in um, just floaties, and uh, two guys were in a, a, a Zodiac, or an inflatable dinghy, basically and they didn't have any life jackets on or anything. The creek is very dangerous and it's a lot stronger than it looks and we'd really appreciate if people just stayed out of the water. Firefighters are reminding the public to be smart when in the water. For Castanet News, I'm Elena Kelly in Kelowna. Castanet has webcams and lots of them. Click the cams button in our yellow masthead to see them all.